Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Stitch with Lisa. We're out here in front of our warehouse today on location. We got a great show for you today. We're going to meet some of the employees so you can see where your product's being made and how it's being done. With that said, here's Lisa. Hey, everyone. All right, so just a little bit about our warehouse. We came to the warehouse in 2008 and we only had one unit, which is 104 here. And we had that for a couple of years, I think. I don't really remember, but we slowly filled each of the four units. So this, the first unit is like our office and I'm gonna be bringing you in everything, but the office, kidding, kidding, and then my working studio are the four bays that we have. We don't have the one on the end that the owner of the building, that's kind of where he hangs out and he takes care of all his storage units that are around the area. But we're only going to be here hopefully for a short little time. I can't wait to announce our news. I'm this close from announcing. So let's just go on in. All right, so this is our, our working office where we are currently working. So, so Lisa, this is Lisa, and she is our office manager. So she takes care of all of our payroll, all paying all our bills. I do not sign any yes. checks. I did not. So um, I have other things to do, like make quilts, right? That's more important. Okay. And as we pan around here, we have a copier in our shipping area where we stage some shipping things. Correct. And then over here is Terry. She's our graphic designer. She's the one that makes all of our patterns all pretty. And we are constantly trying to make those better for you and easier for you to use. So here's a couple things we're working on. Our sashing for our summer block of the week. We're proofing these. We're working on the pattern for the tree skirt here. You see that? This was our, this was Darcy. So now we are putting it all in pattern form and we're going to be ready to sell those. I think on this episode, Amy has those ready for us. And this is where we print all of our books. If you didn't know that, a lot of our books we print in-house here. I think they're housed over here. So Terry makes all these books for us on that copier. Robin is the one, you'll meet Robin later. She's the one that does all the binding on them, I think. <laughs> all right, so this is our office section of our warehouse. You come on this way. You can peek in here at Nick's office. Nick, what do you do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> comic relief. Yeah, comic relief. So Nick takes care of all of the wholesale orders and stuff like that. And whatever I tell him to do, that's what he does. All right, come on back. So we're going to go through one unit at a time. And it is a warehouse, obviously. So we'll just pan over here. This is all of our boxes for shipping, all our plastic bags. Up there is all of our accounting from years gone past. Our paper, we do run a ton of paper here. All right, so this was not here a half hour ago. So this just <laughs> landed. Let's take a good look. Yeah, let's take a good look. What is this? So guess what came, everyone? all of the flannels that are on rolls. We don't have bolts yet, but we will be working on all of the flannels. Our flannels for our, our Live a Thankful Life have come in, so we will be working our little buns off to get those to you so you can finish those blocks that we sent you without the background in. 
we'll give you some more information on when to expect those to arrive. But we totally stopped what we were doing because it's easier to get those flannels to you now so you can work on those blocks versus the um, sashing had like 100 pieces of wool in it. So it's easier to go back with. All right, so we're going to pan over here. So Kaylee's going to pan. These are all the naked pieces of wool. And what I mean by naked is we are going to dye these pretty colors. So these wools are ready for the dyer to come cut the yard off. We dye a yard at a time. We have textures, we have solids. So here's our dye kitchen. And this is Whitney. I see one of our dyers. And Whitney is Terry's daughter. I like pointing that out that we are all kind of related out here. So this is her little station where all her dyes are, where she whips up her potions, all the glass there and stainless steel that we work we got a big trough here for soaking wool. Okay, and then Kaylee can, so this is what happens. This is a working warehouse. We did not pretty it up too much for you. We wanted to keep it over here is where we measure all the dyes. So a lot of the dyes are little formulas where you only take like a 64th or a 32nd of the dye and put it in and we put all these little formulas in a little cup like this and we stack them and when the dyers need them then they go and grab those so somebody has to sit there and measure all the time all right so a couple moda order there that just came in some dyes some ink cartridges i don't know what any of this is but we were super excited that they just pulled the rolls out of there and started doing those flannels. But here is, we have wool that comes on a bolt or on a roll. So we can order those either way, but most of these we are gonna dye a different color, okay? Are we gonna let them ask questions, Bailey? Uh, sure, I'll take okay. a look now. I don't know if there's any yet. All right, so if you have any questions, Kaylee will stop me and we'll answer some of them. We're going to probably have a pretty long video here today because this is a big warehouse. <laughs> All right, we're going to go upstairs. Two of our units have upper lofts. All right. This room houses extra books for when we used to order books. Okay, Nick says he's answering some questions too. So this room houses extra books when we used to print and we used to have to order like 10,000 books at one time. We don't have much of it left, but flannel gatherings is one of them that when you when we used to work this way, we didn't know how many we're gonna sell. Are we gonna sell 2,000 books? Are we gonna sell 10,000 books? And the price, if you ordered more, was much cheaper than if you ordered a smaller run and kept ordering and ordering and ordering. All right, Kayla, let's go for a little walk. So in here is our charms. So we this whole section here houses all of our wool charms. And we have a little special for you on our wool charms for this live. And it's buy six and only pay for five. So in your cart, if you want to go on, you put six of these in your cart and it's only going to charge you for five. And this one is all scrappy. And then we have them by colors. Like this is baskets that we think, and I know the lighting isn't the greatest in here. But, and then we have brights, of course. Couple textured brights. And I'll let just Kaylee pop all the way through here. We are pretty organized. When you see these rooms, uh, Amy ke keeps everything pretty organized. She's a, she's a organizing guru. She does a super job of that. 
All right, so then over here, we have all of our triangle paper that we have, and we do two ways. We do them by the sheets like this, and then we do them for charm papers. So if you were using charm squares, you might want to order this configuration, or if you're doing strips or sheets, this is the way to go for that. Okay, now over here are all of our wool bundles that we have a nice selection of. Some of them, not so much, but we are, we have put on our website, all of our bundles are 20% off for you. That's something we can replenish pretty fast. So we decided to put that on sale for you. Again, like the charms, they come in, like if you need some blacks in your wool collection, or if you need naturals or these brights, we have a couple, these, I call this like the primitive selection. Like these are a nice palette, these three. And they all are from the same wool. So they all have the same thickness, the same tightness of weave. They all are really good together. And then we have all of the other colors that we currently offer. So those are all on our website. I believe under the live, if Judy has moved them over, somebody comment to where they are on the website. I know Jess is watching. Judy probably is too, and Nick is as well. And then over here, we have our kits for the, I think this item, this section all in here is all the kits that we wholesale to other shops across the country. So did you know that you could go into your local quilt shop and say, hey, I know Lisa from Primitive Gatherings sells her quilt kits, or her wool kits to other shops wholesale. So all they have to do is order and then we ship them the kits and they just put their price tag on, make a sample and they could be selling our kits as well. Okay, so we'll just walk through here. It gets pretty dark back here. But as you can see, we don't have like the prettiest tub situation. We recycle our printing boxes. But everything is labeled. All right, now get ready because this is gonna be like going to the candy store. So I'll make sure Kaylee gets some really close up shots. But this next room is where we house all the threads, all the Valdani threads. So come on in. And I want Kaylee to show this nice and close up, but this is where we house all the 12 weight threads so you'll see the little markers on the shelves. Like this is where the girls know to pick the 12 weights. And then we change to eight weights. And then on the back wall is the five weights and the three stranded flosses. So that's this whole side of the room. And look at this. It looks like we just got another order in. So we're constantly getting orders in. These are all 12s, these are all fives. But I think they would love it if you would just <laughs> go down us. there, let them see all those colors, like almost like an angle like this, Kaylee. Read all that. Yeah, it's just thread heaven in here. And again, we do wholesale these threads to other quilt shops. So we are a distributor for Valdani. And we have everything they make. So if they, if your quilt shop wants to contact us, we do, I think it's, what is the name of the website? pgwholesale.com? Primitive Gathering, the, the retail? The wholesale. Oh, um, Primitive Gatherings, where, or wholesale.com. Right, so that is our wholesale website. If you want to share that, if you have a local quilt shop as well, that, you know, bring in your beautiful things and say, Hey, look, you know, I think if you have some of these people will buy them. 
And most shops are pretty uh, good about listening to their customers, especially at a time like now where you can pretty much dictate what you, what you want them to get. All right, next, all these bins are all my patterns that from the beginning of time. So from 102 when I was backyard quilts, this is called blessing. Having place to go is called home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. I did this in 2000, so 20 years ago. <laughs> but that's what this all is here. It's all of our patterns. All the way through here. So back here in the back corner, this is where we house a lot of the blocks of the month. So this is where, so here's where we store either ones that are left over from the block of the week and getting ready for the block of the month. This is where we stage everything. So that's why you see all the numbers, month five, six, seven. So these are some of the block of the months that we have are currently running or that we, if we need to make some full kits, We'll come in here and grab those as well. So that's what this section is back here is block of the month stuff. They told me to slow down. Slow down? Yeah. <laughs> they want to see. <laughs> she doesn't have any wheels, so she's holding this. <laughs> She's pretty brave. I would have I grabbed the wheels, but I get why. Here's all the blocks. Yep. There we go. All right. I'll let you go so they don't have to <laughs> watch me all the time. <laughs> So we're going to quick go through here and I'm just going to talk about some of the things in this room, but then we're going to come back to this room and film a couple of things. I'm going to explain a couple of things that we have for you here, but come on over here. So this is, this room usually is where we set up a show. So this, this area here is big and open and this is where we'll set up our Houston show or our Madison show. And that's why we have like all of our coat samples here and some of our props and books and all of us, some of the retail stuff there. And then over here, you can kind of see the beautiful wools in their sh color shelves and a place to put some kits together sometimes here. And these are the, these are the packs of wool that we sell to Moda and then Moda sells them to other quilt shops across the country. Come this way. Come see all the beautiful stuff. I, I think they'll want to uh, <laughs> get through. They want to go. I would go through there. They yeah. want to see. Oh that. yeah, they sure do. Yeah, I'd want to see all that. Go nice and slow. and walls of wool. We also have brights. I know that might surprise some of you, but hey, I just, you know, it's just the um, freebies are kind of the first or second time I'm using those brighter wools. And I used all those wools that we sent to Moda in that project. So Anybody can buy those wools. There are basics. All right, so come on through. 
I do want to point out, we do have, if you didn't know this, we do have samples of some of our wools all pre-boxed like this. These are on our website. Probably not under the live because some of these things I'm just like pulling out and showing you. But this one is called the Originals Collection. And then we have the Essentials Collection. We give you stickers in there so you can label your wools. All beautiful hand dyes, solids. All right, I'm gonna try to put this back. <laughs> Somebody should be following me, right? Okay, come on through this way. So this is just another warehouse. So here's where some of our wool or flannels are being housed that are for our borders for Live a Thankful Life. We repurposed these from a store that went out of business. <laughs> so we went and grabbed those. But this is all our retail, meaning it's already priced and the people from the shop will come and get it or they will grab it for the shows. I know we have some of the, because we were going to wait for the flannels to come in, we put some of our flannel bundles on sale. The previous ones, all the colored ones to make room for some of our new stuff that's coming in. So look for those and I'll be talking more about those over there later. But let's just take a quick look through here and we'll go through the aisles. So here's my, I call this my Moda warehouse where all my Moda fabrics are. So kits are over here on the right. On the left here is some flannels. And in the back, you're going to see some tall, tall boxes stacked up. Those are some of the items that we have ready for the wool boxes that we send out. So here, a combination of some home decor, some Christmas stuff, some empty shelving waiting for fabric shipments to come, like red work and bolts of the flannel. We're waiting for those. So these are all lined up specifically like i think these are all the wools for the baskets for the um um moon garden quilt so we're going to be running that as either a block of the month or a full kit i can't remember which okay so show them the scraps like the bins of scraps so this is all scrap fabric that we have left over from cutting kits so we have red. Wouldn't you just love to buy a whole bunch of this? Like, I want it all. I wish I could give it all home. It's all good stuff. So if anybody's got any ideas on how we can sell these, I would love that. Green. Look at all the green. Okay. Again. Leftovers. They, I do want to tell you that we are not going to have an in-person warehouse sale this year. We are going to do some warehouse eliminating on our lives and on our website. And we will let you know. We'll probably do it over a month's time coming up. But we just don't think we're ready to do an in-person event with a bunch of people. So we don't think it's probably a good idea. So we're just going to let everybody in on it and we'll just go through it slowly because we really really need to liquidate this warehouse if there is a possibility that we'll be moving next spring but i guess we could probably eliminate any time right <laughs> all right so come on over here here's another thing here's how all of our boxes come for the wool boxes aren't they pretty and we have just like dominoes we have box makers come in and I wish my two high school girls would have stayed. They leave at noon. I, I tried and tried to get Jordan and Kenna, I believe her name is, to stay and to be on our video, but they bailed on me. All right, so now over here is all of our primitive gatherings pre-cuts. So this right here is a three and a half inch charms of 50 prints, two of each, so 100 pieces, all nicely wrapped 
up already pre-cut three and a half inches. So this whole shelving unit is all pre-cuts from little thimbles, two inch, two and a half, three and a half, five inch tumblers. We have assorted packs. We have, this is all reds and we do all reproduction fabrics. So these would be all red, like Andover's, Marcus Brothers, Moda's, uh, Wyndham's, all the good, all the good ones. No crappy fabrics at Crooner Gathering. <laughs> okay. So because we're not going to any shows, we've got a lot of fat quarters tubbed here from when we get ready for a show. But we're not going to shows, right? Over here, we have pennies assorted. Like pennies already pre-cut from half inch to three and a half, I believe. So see how they're all cut in there? And we have like as many as 25, 50, or 100. But these are all pre-cut pennies. If you didn't know, we had those. Kind of cool, right? And we also do fusible web discs that you can put behind them so you can fuse them with that. And it, the fusible web really doesn't have to go out to the end as long as it holds the penny in place. That's all I really like about to have the fusible web on. Okay, we're going this way. Isn't it amazing how you haven't seen anybody yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, we're gonna meet some people now. All right, go through. Okay, so we are in number three here. And this is one of our kidding rooms. All right. So do you see what's going on here, people? This is one of your blocks that you didn't get the background to. So it has come in. They are busy like beavers folding it. Kaylee, show them all this. Stacks and stacks of cutting and folding. So over here, this is Rose. Do you want to talk, Rose, or not? No, I'm good. <laughs> This is your five minutes of fame. If you want it, you have the floor. <laughs> All right, Rose works a lot on doing interconnected and the East Summer Block Relief, the Lake House, or the Homestead version. And then, um, so we'll come over here and take a peek at that. She's got the rest of them lined up over there against the wall. This is all sashing, right girls? That is the beginning. Yeah, so this is the pennies for the sashings that I think they almost got all the pieces cut. So they got pretty far on that. So this is Amy. She's in, Hi. I put her in charge of the whole thing. She's got to make sure things are moving in and out of here, coming, going, all that kind of stuff. So she's in charge of all the, the moving parts. And like I said, she's the organizing, keeping that warehouse nice and neat. All right, Robin over here. She is master kidder over there. Hey, Robin. Hi, Robin. <laughs> so, do you need to say anything? No. No. Not, thanks. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thanks for keeping her employed. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Robin is my uh, sister-in-law. We'll still call you my sister-in-law. Okay. <laughs> These are, these are both my ex-sister-in-law, so let's just be real here, right? Amy, you're the outlaws. You're the, the outlaws. outlaws. So Amy was married to one of my brothers, and so was Robin. But we still love them, okay? <laughs> we still love them. We don't judge. We don't judge. Okay. So we, we, we pretty much can, can make it all work here. So we're pretty proud of that. All right. So on to another kidding room. Oh, we should show this, too. Wait. Back up. So here's all the scraps. So if you ever need a piece of wool, like maybe you screwed something up or maybe you lost something, we have it. Don't worry. We, you can just call us and say, hey, look, I, I messed this up or I lost this. And we have tons of scraps here that we probably could help you out. And what I tell people is be nice. Be nice to us. Don't blame us for not putting it in your kit. Because if we missed it in your kit, we missed it in everybody's kit. And I'm not saying that we won't screw up. 
but it is rare and we probably know it before you do. <laughs> but we like to know if something is wrong. We try really, really, really super hard to make sure everything is perfect. Brandy is actually proofing your summer block of the week kits before you even get them. But, you know, sometimes Randy will miss something too. So don't think, like I said, you guys are kind of like the, the test people for the summer block of the week before it goes to be a block of the month and before any of the other shops get it. So you guys are testing that pattern and making sure that we have it as perfect as possible. So this is another kidding room. This is Lynn. And you, uh, Lynn has been working with us for a long time as well. All these girls pretty much have been here a long time. Jill is over here. We'll get to her in a minute and see what she does. But you see the stacks of wool that they get or backgrounds to cut and they are very efficient and we get the stuff done. Okay. This is our little break room over there. So hopefully if we uh, are lucky enough to move to a new building, we'll have a separate break room. All right, so Jill over here, this is kind of fun to watch. So Jill hand cuts all of our charms. That, remember, we are putting these on sale for you right now. You get one free if you buy five. Did you know that? No, I did not. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we got to make it fun for them. So, so Jill does these by hand, and then they, they stitch them on this little cardboard piece and put... They stitch that and tie that in a knot. So it'll tell you what color charm that you have there. And look at how perfect and pretty they are. So she does an awesome job. And she also does all those pre-cuts of the regular cotton fabrics as well. Oh yeah, she's got some here for us. I do not have pennies. Yeah, I showed them the pennies already. So this is a little sample of some of the, all the sizes that she does and her wool samples. Isn't that awesome? And she can keep up. Pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's very she efficient. Can. Thank you. Yep. Everybody here is good at their jobs. Now, so here, remember I showed you about how we make our own books? So here's our binding machine that puts the coils in. Robin back there, I guess this is her job. She's the master binder. And this is how our books are set up and ready to, to go. All right, one more unit. So mm -hmm. if you didn't notice, the last unit is not connected. It was our, it was uh, one of the last units that obviously that we added on, and it is, it was, it was supposed to be so I didn't bring my work home. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, so come on out. We have to go outside for this one. Thanks, everyone. My unit is pretty messy because I just came in and dumped a bunch of stuff. But it's organized mess. It's organized the chaos, yes. Okay, so we we can't wait to, uh, to figure this all out. So yeah, so see, we didn't make it all pretty for you. This is all stuff that's going on. Here is our big plans for our new building. And I do want to say that we are like, we have bank approval. We just need one more approval from small business company that helps facilitate the loan. So I don't want to say yes, but that close. All right. These, some of you will recognize. I'm not going to, I'm going to do a reveal later on on these. So I'm not going to show you these. So don't look. Okay. But then we also have some other things coming up in this, this area. This is where Kaylee, like, has some of her props where she shoots her pictures. Here's our newest getup. Explain this right here. Oh gosh. So we do, we're doing all those tutorials for you ladies and we have to get right above Lisa so you can see how she stitches and does all our tricks. So that's over Lisa while I'm in front of Lisa or on the side or behind. <laughs> yeah, so we just got this. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. I mean, yeah, much video is different than photography for sure. Yeah, so, and Kaylee's super cool about l learning as we go. And I know that like, you know, sometimes our internet connection isn't isn't cooperating with us, but 
just bear with us in this first few uh, times that we do new things. This is Jessica's desk here. So that's where she works on the computer or ordering and that kind of stuff. This is my desk over here, piled full of stuff. I don't spend a ton of time here. Uh, I know Amy uses my desk once in a while as well. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think we have too many things that they can't see here. But come on over here. This is fairly new. Uh, one of the things we're going to do, Kaylee, is we're going to do a video on wool quilts. Okay. So what I mean about that is like wool on wool or wool on flannel mm -hmm. or wool on cotton. We're just going to talk about that. And this is my primitive garden hanging here. And one of the girls, I think it was Andrea, said like her quilt was super heavy. So mine is not. I mean, I don't want to say it. I, I'm going to weigh it. And she's, I told her to weigh her quilt so we can kind of compare and Linda will maybe chime in and tell us if she used, what kind of batting she used in there. And we're just going to do a whole video on that type of thing about wool quilts, flannel quilts with wool on them, and cotton quilts with wool on them. Okay? All right, so come through here. Now, this is where the boys are, have their long arms set up. Back here, we've kind of taken down some of our stitch, stitching areas. And we'll go through there. But um, first, this is one of the this is one of my antique quilt tops that Luke just quilted maybe a couple weeks ago. He's pretty proud of it, and we're using it as the background of one of his cards that we send out to customers. So you can tell it doesn't quite have the. I haven't had time to hand sew the binding on yet, but Kaylee just shot it today to show how good he is at doing the overall. And this. This is so amazing, this quilt was. I'm so happy that I got it. And I want to really start talking a lot more about my antique quilts and recreating them or talking about like how old we think this quilt is. And just, just fun stuff about them because isn't that, this could, this could be made today and it'd be so current that we won't believe that this is made in the 1880s probably. All right, so let's just go through here. Again, Amy's cutting borders for our um, Live a Thankful Life. Don't look too close at that because that's all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we have the interconnected quilt. Come back here. Is this your new card? Yep. All right, there's his card. So anybody needs any long arm quilting services, um, we set up an email. It's bernina.pg at gmail.com. These are the panels that uh, I appreciate all the orders we got. Um, this is the Merry Little Christmas one. We have about four left, and then we're all done with that. How many have you quilted cool? Remember? 26. 26. So he's 26. quilted 26 of these. Yep. Here, get a good look at this. Sure. This is stitching amazing. This is our uh, Bernina Q24. It's an amazing machine. Uh, the Aurifil thread we use on it, I've had no problems. The stitch is so beautiful on the front and the back. So Yeah, we uh, we were scrambling for what kind of thread to use. And I said, hey, just use my Aurifil on this one. And it worked so beautiful that that's all he wants to stitch with now. Got a question. Can the guys quilt their thankful life quilts? Uh, that'd probably be no. That a that's a custom quilt. quilt. Yeah. yeah. So we're just doing edge to edge right now. Maybe in the future, the boys will want to learn, maybe from Linda, give them some good class, take, start taking some classes on some custom stuff. And maybe we hire some more people to help us run these machines. The more business we get, the more yeah, machines we can get. And what do you got there? Well, we have a couple ladies, uh, I did two. You gotta talk this way. Uh, sorry, we have a couple ladies that sent their stuff in from Wyoming already, which is great, I appreciate that. Um, and then I have a shop sample we're doing. Yeah. Um, but as soon as these are done, uh, in the next few days, we'll have an open machine. So send your stuff in. All right. So pretty cool, huh? We're pretty excited about being able to quilt quilts. Like one of the things I thought of was, so say I make a quilt and you guys like it. Like maybe one of the red work quilts we quilted and you want yours done the same way, all you have to say is, hey, quilt mine just like the sample or just like Lisa did her, had hers done, and we'll be able to do that for you. So here's our other machine. This is Jake. Luke 
Luke and Jake, those are my two boys. And we are playing around on the Playing show. around, fixing play, it up. Playing around, getting this one all ready. She has a couple little bugs where uh, figuring it out. Okay. When we open up our service, we'll know exactly what to do on them. Yeah. And we were, uh, Grandma T was just here feeding them lunch. So the, we have some, uh, this is our little kitchen here. They have a nice little area here. So this is a pretty nice studio to hang out in. Say hi. <laughs> this is Jody. She's a school teacher. She's been helping me do some things, you know, starching, maybe a little tracing. For she traced all my circles for Live a Thankful Life. I said, you know, I really would do this. I really love doing it, but I shouldn't be tracing 273 circles or however many it was. So she did it for me. I admit it. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go back one more time, and we're gonna go see Scott, who is Jody's husband, who's also my first cousin. go through. <laughs> so at the back of our quilting studio is Scotty's woodworking studio. So come on through. Like I said, Scott and I related my mom and his dad, our brother and sister. And what was super cute is I said to Scott, all right, I'm going to come through. Don't be shy. Just let me talk about it. And, and I said, make a little display of all the stuff that you do. So I can't wait for you to see what he did. He wins the award. Look at this. We've got a complete display of all the things that he hand makes here at Primitive Gatherings. His little stools. How many of these are? He's that's what he's making over here right now. So he, we'll we'll come over there by him and bug him in a minute. But this is a nice little stand either for your books, your recipes when you're cooking in the kitchen or anything that you, you know, if you're following your pattern sheets, this is a nice thing too. Or we have the ones on clips that are for blocks. A nice little clipboard like this. So he's showing that he does black, he does white. We have rug hooking frames and punch needle frames that he can make. I am in the process of, all I have to do is put the leaders on my hand quilting frame that he has made for me. So. We'll get to that soon too. So this is the the stool for your feet when you're stitching. He makes these little boxes, the stool, and the custom framing that we do. And then the little thread spool. So I use these for my binding threads. I put all my little binding spools in there, and then you can put a spool here and pull off as your your binding. So we have two sizes of those. A big one. And the little one. And then back here are ruler boxes. My <laughs> ruler boxes, they come in a bunch of sizes there as well. And then of course his world famous quilt swing arm hangers that I have all over my house. And he sells a lot of these. A lady asked if he could make something to hold a cell phone. So this is Scott's cell phone. So as you see, oh, we're watching Lisa there. Yeah. That's his cell phone holder. That's Scott's God, personal. Scott, how come I don't have one of them? They're bigger than an easy one because a lot of times they don't get messages from the girls at the shop. Right. All right, I want one. <laughs> All right. All right, so come over here. Now, I think Scott is the most organized, considering he has, you know, kind of taken over some pre, like, storage areas but he has made this space super awesome Ooh, that's your big saw right what kind of saw is that it's a wall saw because i can cut full sheets of plywood horizontally or vertically with them okay so that's going to take up uh how big is your new uh place going to be do you remember i believe it's going to be 30 by 40. 30 by 40 is the spot that we have for them at the new primitive gathering all right so a couple other so let's see how he hand makes all these. And I know Debbie has a bunch of patterns that go on the top of those. Yes. Although I had one here last week. Yeah, I know. Super cool. Okay. All right. So now 
that is we're going to go back to the warehouse where we have a couple quilts and a couple other specials for you. But we're going to go this way, I think, Kaylee, right? right so yep. this is the back side of our warehouse. Pretty nice here today. And I just want to say that I let everybody not wear a mask because we are all have at our own stations and far apart from people. So that's one of the things. I don't want you to think that they're not wearing them. They are. It's just who wants to be on camera with a mask on? So all of our show bins, all of the stuff from the retreat house that we had taken down because the retreat house sold back in June kitchen tables, all that kind of stuff. So come on over this way. And I have a few things to talk to you about over here. All right, so let's talk about the big things first. So this quilt, we want to like, we wanted to make some room in our flannel section for our new flannel that just came in. I'm so excited about that. So this flannel, this flannel quilt here is on sale. It's called Every Which Way. I don't know what it's on sale for, <laughs> but we only have a few of those left. So it comes with a great big fat eighth pack there. And then we do, look at how cool I did a scallop border on here to make it fun, extra special. And Dory Rushka quilted this one. She did a crazy job. She got all those little curlies at the end there. And when you do a scallop border, when you send it to the quilter, you don't cut this. You leave it as a full border and you draw the line where you're going to cut it. So then they can place their apple, their um, quilting motifs inside that line. But this one has a pink back on it. And we have a lot of cool colors of the flannel left. So you could have a blue backing. There is an option on the website for backing. So just so you know, all you'd have to do is pick your backing and then in the comments say, oh, I would like a blue backing. But super fun quilt. Uh, I really love that one. Okay. Do we have, are these on sale or anything or how are we doing these? We do have them at 20% off. Okay. 20% off. I didn't want to say if I didn't know. The patterns if you need some All right. So yeah, so let's do this. So this again, every which way is the name of the one I just talked about. And even though we don't have some of these samples, we're still going to offer them. Some of these quilts are in the California store. So this one is called butterfly kisses and it's just a simple connector corner. And we have that one right here. So Kaylee, if you want to show them that one. All you do is put a connector square on two corners. And again, this pattern and kit is on sale. And then we have Friends Forever. And this is that periwinkle blue flannel. It's gorgeous. This one is also at the California store, I believe, and also 20% off. Razzle Dazzle. Linda quilted this one amazingly. 20% off. Working Man's Quilt. All half square triangles in strips. 92 by 92 or 68 by 80. You can get two different sizes on that one. I think you either get a fat eighth or a fat quarter tower. Step by step. This is a huge quilt. 92 by 112. Very manly. And this is also actually in my trunk show of recreating. This is, was an antique that we recreated. And then Granite Peak. Two colors, red or gold. Do we still have both, Amy? She's not here. 80 by 80, this one is. And all these that I just showed you here are all 20% off. Here's the kits for some of them. So, oh, that one was fat quarter packs. This was Working Man's. This one, Friends Forever. And we all know that modus flannels are the best. 
They do, they had nothing compares to them. If you worked with flannel from different companies, it's not the same. Blueberry cobbler. This is an awesome quilt as well. I'm going to take this one out. I don't think I saw this one in there. So all these flannel quilts, we have a few left and it's time to unload them to make room for all the new stuff coming out. This is Granite Peaks quilt, the gold and the red. Step by step. And razzle dazzle. This one is like raspberry and mocha and cream. So all these flannel quilts are 20% off and there's backing options. So keep that in mind that we have a lot of nice backings for you that we can cut for the, to get a matching back. And we will do that. Like if you order blueberry cobbler and you want a blue backing, we will pick one that goes with the quilt. So here's those towers of flannels that we talked about. I had her take the, the cellophane off of one so you could see that. Awesome, awesome colors. Okay, and we did find some kits of this. So this was our summer block of the week a couple of years ago. And I love this quilt. I think it's timeless. It never loses its appeal. We do have some kits for this as well. I'm gonna come in. Come on in, Kaylee, and look at that one. And I believe Val quilted this just, I just had her simply cross hatch it. Val from Vegas. She's my cross hatching girl. Just simple. You could probably do this on your own machine if you're one of those who likes to do your own quilting. But I just love how the fabrics. Tell us if you made this one. It's pretty awesome. Okay. One last quilt and then we're going to talk about wool subscription boxes. So this quilt is called Ice Cream Sandwich. Is that what this one's called? Ice cream All mixed up. All mixed up. Sorry. I wanted to call it Ice Cream Sandwich. I think that name was taken. Was <laughs> yeah. I think that name was already taken. So all mixed up. Beautiful little quilting pattern on there. Simple, simple quilt. But we have, a, we have never been able to offer a kit for this. And that's what was laying on the table over there. We found some fabrics, enough lights to make this. So that is on special for $100 for the kit for this with the pattern. So that's another deal. And like I said, beautiful, beautiful scrappy quilt. And if you have any wool scraps left over from any of your, or not wool scraps, sorry, flannel. flannel scraps left over from any of your like summer blocks of the week where we use flannel, you can use them in this because this is a nice small size that you're trimming down to. All right, I'm getting tired of talking now. My mouth is dry. What's up, Nick? Hey, how do you hang that quilt? This one? Yeah, show them how you got it feathered up like that. Let it's just it. bunched. Well, they want to... Let me grab a quilt. Sure, yeah, it. we'll just show you on another quilt. Yeah, they were wondering. That's a trick that we use in a booth to make sure we can put a whole bunch of quilts in. So all you do is you take the top half, and this is what I do. I just kind of accordion fold it like so. And I always make sure that it's curved around so you don't see the backing. And then we take a strip of fabric or wool and then we tie it like that and then we fan it out. And then we put a hook behind it and hang it up. And obviously we'd put this to the back side when we're hanging in a booth. But how cool is that? All right, Ames, there you go. All right, so wool boxes. The girls discovered at the shop we had a couple wool boxes that were stashed away. Now, Amy, you got it written down for me somewhere, right? Right here. Okay, I got it. Oh, no. I'll get it. You'll get it. She'll get it. All right. So the deal on the wool boxes is after it's revealed, they're $82.
plus $5.99 shipping, I believe. So even if you're not in the group, in the subscription, we're going to let you buy a one-time box for the $82. And you're not subscribing to the whole thing. And I'll give you a couple peeks at what's in each one. All right, so this one here was our winter box. And I'll give Kaylee a little close up of all the items that were in the box. And here's some of the big items. This was a fireplace mantle, or I have a buffet table that this is on my buffet table at home. That's what I made it for. And do you see the big sections like right here? I did a couple little bonus projects out of that wool that was left over from cutting this scallop. So that's kind of a little bonus built into this. So this was the main project in here. So there's your kit. We'll have a couple everlasting blocks. That's the ongoing quilt that you might hear us talk about. This box had a journal in it because it was a winter January box. So you could start writing your inspirations or anything that you want to remember or people to know. These, this one also had the little minis that fit on the little blocks that we show, saw in Scott's room over there. Winter set. This is a pillow that says winter. It had a towel in it for 2020. And then it also has recipes. This recipe is caramel corn and caramel corn cookies. So you make the caramel corn and then you make the cookies. <laughs> Good recipes, I promise. So that was this box, which was box six. If you want, we have a couple of those. If it if you can't order it, that means they're sold out. So I don't know what kind of numbers we were looking at, Amy. Uh, 13 to 15 of each. Okay, ish. 13. They must have found a little, a little stash of each thing. And I think our numbers were kind of screwed up on our wool boxes for a while. Mm -hmm. And we thought we were shipping out more and they were just being housed at the, where, at the, at the store. And we didn't know it. Oh yeah, don't forget there's caramels in there. Oh yeah, the caramels. I think Amy might have took the caramels out of some of these. No, I didn't. Can you put some fresh ones in? I will put, <laughs> I will put fresh caramels. We'll put fresh caramels in these boxes. <laughs> if, you, if you want to take a chance and get one. All right, this is box eight. So we have six. We don't have any seven left. This is eight. And this was April and May's block. And again, it had some 52 minis, the little ones. It had... Uh, recipes, caramel, stitch cards. Oh, come let us adore him. I thought that one should have had, oh, that was must have been last year's. So all the boxes this year have a ornament in. So this is an ornament. And then it had a little quilt that fits on the big stand. So this is like a 10 inch, 10, 10 and a half inch quilt. And then we did an earbud case. Whether you have AirPods or earbuds, they all fit in that. Here's the minis, the little flower, watering can, mason jar, tulip, a ball of Aldani, and I think it was a random color. And then Texas caviar, party size is your recipe, and old fashioned barley soup, beef barley. That's one of my mom's recipes that I make all the time. That's amazing. So that's box eight. And here up close is the little ornament. And then this was the main project in the box. Again, so when if you do sign up for our subscription, which I don't know if it's full or not, Jess will say if it's full or not, or if you try to order it and you can, that means it's not. If you can't, that means it's full. But these boxes are only $60 if you are in the subscription. And they're retail over $100. So that's kind of a really good, good deal. And it's every other month? Every other month. Yep. So it's not every month. It's every other. Ooh, this one has a little ornament in. Box nine is June and July. 
a little ornament. Remember I said all these had ornaments in this year's blocks. And then there's another quilt, our flag with all the embroidery stitches. So I did white on white and red on red. And then all the stars are stitched too. I'm gonna get close. And that's on that big 12 inch quilt block holder, quilt stand. So there's the pattern and the kit for the ornament. Here's the minis. The two everlasting blocks. And then this is the one that had Seaside Garden in. I don't have this sample with me. And then the caramels. And this one came with a tube of needles as well. All right. So the only thing I don't think I talked about is the, is the tree skirt ready for the website yet or not yet? Okay. All right. So I, I will save the tree skirt for our next live, but here's the black that Darcy used, I believe. And then we have like a Buffalo check natural, and then we'll have the pattern prices all ready for you to do a full size tree skirt. Cause I know some of you are waiting for that. Okay. That's all I have for you today. And I appreciate you looking through our warehouse and watching us work and supporting us. We do appreciate it. So everybody stay safe and we'll see you again next time.